Y'all, we back with another reaction video and shout out to Scoop Game. This is, I don't know if it's a letter or is it a text, but it drew my attention. And, um, looks like somebody was singing it as they wrote it. You know what I mean? But we are going to act, react to it, okay? And for fair use, we just going to criticize, criticism. Are we going to comment? Uh, kind of, sort of like a news report. Um, because it is news. Uh, it, it's going, it's got a lot to do with teaching, kind of messing with your mind. Uh, education and, education and, um, research. It says, the Kanika Jenkins twists and turn, Hotel California, keep that in mind. 19 year old Kanika Jenkins supposedly found dead in a hotel freezer in Ledin, Townsend, Illinois. Illinois. Okay. Then it says Scoop Gang. Kanika Jenkins Martin allegedly attended a birthday party for her friend Irene Robinson on September 6, 2017 at the Crown Plaza Hotel in London, Townsend. Wait a minute, y'all. Listen, hold up. Hold up, y'all. I thought y'all said it was at the Crown Plaza Hotel in O'Hara. And the party was on the 8th. On the, on the uh, 8th. And here we are on the 6th right here. Okay, let's keep going. There has been countless numbers of accusations and speculations surrounding Kanika Jenkins' death. Since then, folks, I'm here to make sense of some of these things that has been brought to the attention of the public and some things that have not been heard of yet. You do not have to believe anything. Say that's not the purpose of this. So what's the purpose of this? Okay, let's keep going. Let's see what's going on, y'all. I don't want to play the music. Hmm. So the party was on the six and not the eight. Okay. Hotel California, keep that in mind. All right. Landon Townsend. Okay. All right. Come on. Okay, let's go. Um, dang, I really don't read it. And then it went on to say, say that's not the purpose of this. My purpose is to bring this to the attention of the men and women who care about this situation. So if you're going to belittle me, be little me, be bringing this to your attention on you, just don't care, and you and you are just talking about this because this is a trending top topics. I advise you to start reading and continue on with your day. Reading at midnight took place on. The ninth, y'all. And that's what most of the people been saying. The reactment 
took place on the 9th, 2017. Kanika Jenkins was long gone before the 9th. Y'all hear what they saying? She had to been gone long for the night because it was a reactment. Y'all think about it. Kanika Jenkins was set to testify in a murder trial. Set, set to take place the following week. Strike one. She never made it. Not just any murder trial. A gang related trial. Then it went down to strike two. Tex Free, the known lover of Kanika Jenka, was not, I repeat, was not in jail around the time of Kanika Jenkins' departure. He was at the party as well. Oh, really? Okay, y'all, this letter here talking. This letter here is talking. Okay. Okay, so the party was on the the re-admit was on the ninth, y'all. You know Kanika was long gone dead, that's what it said. She was long gone from here. Because the party was on the sixth. So y'all some people going by the re what happened on the re-admit. Okay, let's keep going. Okay. Okay, they stuck right here for a minute. Okay. Keep in mind. You're at me. Okay. Come on, baby. Okay. Okay, strike three. We did strike two. We strike one. Strike two with the text free was also sleeping with Monifa. What? Shelter and Irene Roberts. What? Kanika found out the night of the hotel party. That's why she was ready to leave. Whoa. Strike three. And you know, one more, you're out. Zach Stoner, along with Chosen King, were also at the Crown Plaza the night of September the 6th. Chosen King had sexual relationship with Kanika Jenkins that night. And it was not the first time Chosen was sleeping with Kanika for over a year. And also became pregnant for him. Zach TV 